Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Gary Anderson. Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'll be talking about the common causes of neck pain. So, if you like the video related to my hill, my way, I would like to request you all please to subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon, and give thumbs up so that I will come up with more and more videos with a lot and lots of information. So, here we begin. Let's go. Common causes of a neck pain. The most common cause of neck pain is a muscle strain, in which a muscle is stretched too far and tears. Neck muscle strain is typically caused by poor posture or support, such as sleeping with the neck in awkward position. Most neck muscle injuries will feel better within a few days or week. Most neck muscle strains are alleviated using heat or ice, over-the-counter pain, medication, and stretching. Now, common causes of chronic neck pain. Chronic neck pain is usually caused by a mechanical issue with a facet joint or disc, which typically stems from painful wear and tear associated with age. Cervical spine condition tend to affect not only the neck but also the head, shoulders or arms. Such conditions include the first one cervical osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis in the cervical spine causes excessive friction in the neck facet joints leading to neck pain and stiffness. Additionally, Cervical osteoarthritis can cause bone spurs to develop, which may cause headache at the base of the skull and nerve root pain in the shoulders, arms, or hands. Then it comes to cervical degenerative disc disease. A common cause of chronic neck pain is the degeneration or wear and tear on the cervical spinal disc. Cervical disc degeneration typically causes a low-level chronic neck pain and intermittent episodes of more severe pain and instability. Now, cervical herniated disc. If a disc in the cervical spine bulges or leaks from the disc space, it can cause inflammation and irritation of the surrounding joints, muscles, or nerve roots. Cervical disc herniation typically causes neurological pain in the shoulders and arms, as well as mild to moderate pain and stiffness in the neck. Now, common causes of neck pain, cervical forum minor stenosis. Cervical forum minor stenosis refers to the narrowing of the space where nerve root exit the vertebrae and may be caused by osteoarthritic bone spurs or a herniated disc. This condition typically causes pain, weakness, and numbness in the shoulder or arm, as well as possible neck pain. Cervical stenosis with the myelopathy, narrowing of the spinal canal in the neck, or cervical stenosis may lead to full body neurological symptoms called myelopathy. Symptoms of myelopathy typically include reduced fine motor skills, difficulty walking without support, such as from a cane or walker, and numbness, weakness, and sharp pain in the shoulders, arm, or hands. A primary risk factor for neck pain include poor posture, such as slouching or looking down at a phone screen for a long period of time. Additionally, neck pain and stiffness may result from poor support for the neck during sleep, lifting overhead in labor-intensive work, and motions that put repetitive stress on the neck muscles and joints. That's all about the neck pain in this video. I hope you all liked it. I'll definitely come in the next video with my other content. Till then, God bless you. Bye-bye and take care.